There were some elements to the to each set that I find a requirement for me personally as a director. In Castle's Loft, we have to build it based on you know who he is, where he is in life, what his financial resources are, and you know what what's his personality. We built the set so that it runs parallel to the windows so that in every room you have the option to put sunlight in. And for speed, the studio afforded us the privilege of hanging lots of big lights out the windows. And what that does is gives the directors basically in one moment, which I guess I've turned it the Frankenstein switch, in one switch you have so much light in here that you're essentially lit. There's a photograph behind Castle's desk which is a vertical shot looking down a spiral staircase. That's as far back as we can go. So I can't create a window with a vista of the city. I don't have the room. So instead, we came up with a photograph that has a vanishing point to it. So, it, when, and when you shoot tight on Castle, within the frame of the picture, it looks that he's, you know, either hanging over a, a spiral staircase or it just sucks your eye into the shot. Our foundational light all comes essentially from the sun. It allows the directors more time to shoot, to get more takes for performance, and you know, not encumber the set in terms of moving people with lots of equipment. We try to do it with window light, sunlight, essentially, and, and cameras um, is, is, is the idea for, for the loft. There's a lot of thinking going into the precinct set. There's some, some curved brick in there. The texture of the walls feels like it was original. You know, the window frames feel like they were drawn from other parts of the building and put in the precinct. Then you, and again, we put in the, the exposed air conditioning because we have more drama occurring in the precinct. You know, I want the ceilings a little lower with the, with the notion that compression is drama. If I put people in compressed situations, um, the, the drama goes up. We do have to have the ability in the interrogation to have people sitting across from the table who are looking at 25 to life so that room we made feel almost like it was a vacuum sealed room, you know, and, it, and that room has a, a sound effect we put in it every week, which is which basically like a spaceship hum. Putting that in the official record. That hum is, an, is, is a foreign feeling. It's an isolating feeling, it's a lonely feeling, and that's all intended to make the person sitting in the suspect feel, you know, like they're under pressure. I would never fabricate a bird sighting. It's unthinkable. You know, at the end of the day, I, I hope the fans are entertained, but not just by bells and whistles, but the, 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 they see, sometimes they see a reflection of themselves up there, finding perspective on how to deal with things in life. You're happy, I'm happy. It's really about entertaining them. I just want them to have a good time, um, have some smiles, and, and you know, hope that the good guys win.